Hey everybody, welcome to another story time from Altamont Free Library. I'm so happy you could join us today. Today we've got a story, a song, and a craft with Miss Meg. Why don't we get started? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands and stomp your feet and make your hands all nice and neat. And if you're ready for a story, take a seat. Good job. Let's get started. Hi, everybody. This is Anne, and I'm here to share a little finger play with you that you probably know. But before we start, I want to make sure you know the names of your fingers. So this one, that's right, we call the thumb. But in this one, in this finger play, we're going to call it thumpkin. And this one, that's right, it's your pointer. And this one, the smallest one is your pinky, and we're going to call it Miss Pinky. Okay, put your hands behind your back, and let's go. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very well, I thank you. Run and hide, run and hide. Where's Mr. Pointer? Where's Mr. Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Oh, very well, I thank you. Run and hide, run and hide. Where's Miss Pinky? Where's Miss Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Oh, very well, I thank you. Run and hide, run and hide. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. It's Miss Joanne. We are going to read a story together today. The story is a little Scholastic's The Tiny Tadpole. Based on the cover, can anyone tell me what a tadpole might be? Let's all say tadpole together. Tadpole. Good job. It's okay if you don't know. We're going to read the story together and we'll all find out in the end. All right, let's start. Something slithery jiggled in a jelly gray sack. It was round, but growing longer. It was smooth and it was black. This is the tadpole right here. What color did I say it was? Black, that's right, good job. It jiggled from its jelly, then peered around for some fun. I want some legs like those, he cried, to jump and hop and run. So here is the hatched tadpole. And it wants legs like this. Does anyone know what animal this is? All right. The wise frog croaked, just nibble, gnaw, and chew. But a jiggle jaggle tail was all that Freddy grew. So this is Freddy, our tadpole. Poor Freddy still had no legs. I need some to and fro legs. Just jump up from below legs. When am I going to grow legs? I'm just a blob with no legs. Patience, croaked the frog, just nibble, gnaw, and, sh and chew. Freddy nibbled, chewed, and gnawed till he couldn't swallow more. So this is Freddy now. Does anyone have any ideas of what he might be? Or what a tadpole might be? All right, let's see. Look at you, croaked his friend, staring down from his log. Freddy leaped up in delight and saw he was a... What is he? Does everyone, anyone, everyone know? Well, Freddy, he saw he was a frog. All right. Good job, everyone. So now that we've read, can we guess what a tadpole is? All right, a tadpole is the beginning stages of a frog. So when Freddy started out as the little black blob, he was a tadpole and he grew up to be a frog. 
All right, everyone, thank you for joining me and we will see you soon. Bye. Hi, this is Ms. Meg and today I wanted to um, hopefully inspire you to try a simple craft maybe the next time you read a book about facial hair with your child. There's some really funny um, books, Mo's Mustache, uh, Beard in a Box, that um, books that, that uh, focus on the, the funny of facial hair. That said, um, this is a simple craft. You're just basically going to cut out some shapes, mustache shapes. Um, you can get a template online and trace them and you use a cardboard or rope tag, something a little bit thicker than copy paper, something a little thicker. And you need a popsicle stick, some feathers, sequins, pom-poms, something to, to really uh, add some pizzazz, and then markers or crayons. And all you're going to do is glue this on to the stick and let your child go to town with decorating them. It's a very freestyle, fun, uh, creative activity. Here's one that I had, um, I think it was a five-year-old make and they had a good time. And I think this was their parent. So uh, once your child has a mustache, there's any number of fun, uh, imaginative play activities they can do with it, dress up time. So give it a try. Thanks and keep reading.